Falcon 9 is in startup. So with that, Falcon 9 is in full autonomous control of today's launch. Let's listen in for the launch director. Go for launch. And that call out indicating that uh, the ground team is ready for today's launch attempt. Weather, uh, payloads, and the range all looking great. Let's uh, watch minus 30 seconds. as Falcon 9 lifts off to space today. Fifteen seconds. T minus ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, ignition, engines full power and lift off of bandwagon one and ADD four twenty five. Go Falcon, go SpaceX. Vehicles pitching down range. T-plus 30 seconds into flight, successful liftoff of Falcon 9 on the Bandwagon 1 mission, carrying 11 uh, customer satellites into orbit today. Nominal power and telemetry. We are lifting off from uh, Launch Complex 39A at the Kennedy Space Center, currently throttling down those Merlin 1D engines in preparation for maximum Vehicle supersonic pressure. That's, uh, or max Q, that's the point of highest stresses on the vehicle during ascent. Max Q. With that, we are through the highest stresses on the vehicle. Falcon 9 will throttle back up those Merlin 1D Excellent. engines in preparation for the next major milestone. So coming up in about 45 seconds, we'll have uh, several events in quick succession. The first of those will be MECO, or main engine cutoff. That's where all of those Merlin 1D engines will shut down on the first stage. Then we'll have the stage separation. The first stage, or the booster, is going to do a flip maneuver. While that's happening, the second stage is going to ignite its uh, Merlin vacuum engine. And then the first stage is going to start its boost back burn to go towards landing zone one to attempt that land landing. So Miko stage separation, uh, the flip maneuver, second engine start, and then boost back burn. Main engine cut off. Stage separation confirmed. And back ignition. Stage one, boost back startup. Awesome views on the lower right there. That was the second stage heading off to orbit. We've got a tracking shot here of the first stage doing its boost back burn. This uh, tracking view from the ground, looking back at this first stage. Again, it's 14th flight today, so we're looking for its 14th landing attempt at landing zone number one. And this is a view from the cameras on board the first stage. We're uh, looking at a shot down yeah, towards the engines. Confirmed. You can see the grid fins here. Those will deploy uh, shortly after the... Uh, boost back burn completes. And a reminder, uh, the second stage is continuing on its mission, but uh, one, at the request of our customer, we won't be showing any second stage views today. So we're just going to keep uh, focused on the great views we have of the first stage.
So what you're seeing here periodically are uh, some white gas coming out of the first stage. On the right-hand box on your screen are the grid fins deploying. We use the aerodynamic grid fins to get the first stage uh, back towards our landing site. They have so aerodynamic the control of the vehicle trajectory. once we get into the Earth's atmosphere. Those uh, white plumes that you're seeing are of an attitude control gas. We use, uh, those are referred to as cold gas thrusters. So um, we, we have some gas stored on the vehicle. And since there isn't very much atmospheric force uh, this high up in the atmosphere, we have to give ourselves little puffs of thrust to orient the vehicle, get the heat shield pointed down, and get the vehicle in the entry attitude to come back towards landing zone one. Great shots of planet Earth. Again, the camera on the right-hand side of your screen uh, now is actually looking up through the inner stage. So uh, we're looking into that uh, carbon fiber inner stage. That's where the second stage was previously. And on the left-hand side of your screen, we've got a ground tracking shot of the first stage making its way back towards landing zone one, not too far from the launch site at uh, Kennedy Space Center. Now we're coming up on the entry burn uh, for the, the uh, first stage. So there are two burns that we do here. There's an entry burn where we turn on just a few of Falcon 9's engines. That's to slow down as we start getting back towards the atmosphere and start to pick up some heating on the vehicle. And then the second of those burns is much closer to stage landing. Stage one entry burn startup. So here's the first of those burns, the entry burn. This burn lasting just about 20 or so seconds. Stage one entry burn shutdown. Stage one FTS has saved. And there is successful shutdown of the entry burn. So now the next major burn will be the landing burn. That'll happen uh, just before landing will ignite just a single Merlin engine. The landing legs will deploy, and then hopefully we'll have a soft touchdown at landing zone one. You can see it starting to come into focus here on the view on the right-hand side of your screen heading towards landing zone one. Stage one transonic. Stage one, landing burn. Stage two, FTS is saved. And there is the startup of the single center Merlin engine for landing burn. We'll see the grid, uh, excuse me, the landing lakes deploy here. Stage one, landing leg deploy. And there is successful landing of Back our first down. stage. stage one that landing uh, marks confirmed. for the 14th landing on this particular booster, 294th landing of an orbital class rocket. Uh, we also heard a call out there for nominal orbit insertion cutoff and then nominal orbit insertion. So that means the second stage is well on its way for uh, the rest of our mission. But with our first stage landed, that's going to bring our webcast coverage to a close for today. 
If you're interested in learning more about today's payloads and the deployments, please head to our customers' websites to find out more information. And uh, we want to thank all of our rideshare customers